Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate CSS in JavaScript. So here I have my initial CSS set up with a specimen element already embedded into the body. And it's always a good idea to write your JavaScript code inside the DOM content loaded event instead of just within the tags. It's actually going to wait until all of your elements are downloaded into your page. Now that we have this set up, I'm going to use keyframes command to define some keyframes for an animation I want to create. So I'm going to do the at sign keyframes, name it the change, put this into brackets. And inside here, you use from and to. So the from is the from that we're going to start with. And the to, this is the CSS property state you want to have at the end of the animation. It's pretty intuitive. So we're going to go from style to the to style when we add this animation. So here I'm basically moving from left 100 pixels to left 300. And that's going to cause that box to move right. Now in our JavaScript here, you want to create a new element, a new variable and select that specimen um, by ID, you can use query selector function here. So um, specimen. And now in our L variable, we have a link to that object. As you can see, you can remove it if you want to, but we're actually going to animate it. So it's nice to have a link. To animate, we need to add the class change that we're going to create next. This is not the keyframes, it's a separate class. We'll see how that works in just a moment. But the next thing you wanna do is to specify the duration of the animation using the animation-duration property. And this could be one second, or you can also use a fractional numbers to specify a value in milliseconds. Animation-direction, um, I'll set it to normal uh, for now, this property allows you to play the animation forward and backward. Uh, you can change those properties later. But for now, I'm just going to set it to its default value of normal. But we still don't have the change class, so I'm going to create it right now. When you apply this change class to the element, that's when the animation kicks in. So we're already doing that in JavaScript, but basically you put animation name, which is change, uh, and this is taken from the keyframes command. And at this point, you should be able to play the animation. So every time I refresh the browser, that class is applied and our keyframes are playing. So once you have this set up, you can start building out your animation using the from and to keywords in the keyframes command. Let's say you want to change it to circle or move it somewhere else. So these are the properties. This is the place where you put those properties in. You can use any CSS property. So to change border color to blue, for example, you can use this. And as you can see, we're changing its shape and the border color at the same time. Now you can insert a lot more keyframes by using percentage. So it goes from zero to hundred. So here I changed two to hundred and from to zero percent, but you can also embed as many keyframes as you want at any, at any place. Um, on the timeline. So you can use 50%, you can use 100%, you can use 75% and all of those things. And this will create an extra keyframe. There's a lot more to animating CSS and JavaScript, but you can look that up from tutorials online and see which property does uh, what type of effects and what other properties you can use to, to change the way you play your animation.